It took a full 18 days before the Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev made any public pronouncement on the nuclear disaster at Chernobyl. Today on Soviet television, Mr. Gorbachev said the accident has deeply affected the Soviet people and, as he put it, disturbed world opinion. He told his fellow countrymen that the worst is now behind them. It has certainly taken Mr. Gorbachev a long time to go public. ABC's Dean Reynolds is in Moscow. The Soviet leader's first public comment on Chernobyl led off the nationally broadcast evening news. We were recently stricken by a disaster, the Chernobyl nuclear power accident. It deeply affected the Soviet people and disturbed world opinion. The accident, he told his countrymen, has now claimed nine lives and injured 299 others. He tried to explain what went wrong. The power of the reactor suddenly increased. There was a considerable discharge of steam, and the subsequent reaction led to the formation of hydrogen, its explosion, and the destruction of the reactor and the accompanying radioactive discharge. Work at the damaged reactor, he said, has been heroic and has succeeded in controlling the danger. It was possible to limit the damage thanks to the bravery and expertise of our people and their devotion to duty. The level of the radiation in the area of the power station and the immediately adjacent area still remains dangerous to the health of people. The highest priority task right now is to eliminate the consequences of the accident. Gorbachev thanked his socialist bloc allies for their solidarity in the face of the crisis and he expressed gratitude to the team of American doctors performing emergency bone marrow surgery on those most badly injured. But his mood changed when discussing the way the Reagan administration, its Western allies, and the Western press responded. What we were up against was a vast accumulation of lies, unscrupulous and malicious in the extreme. Gorbachev said it's important to remember a nuclear war would be far more devastating than what happened at Chernobyl, and he announced new action to underline his concern. The Soviet government, weighing all the circumstances connected with the security of its own people and the whole of mankind, has taken the decision to extend its unilateral moratorium on nuclear testing until the 6th of August this year. He coupled the step with a renewed offer to meet President Reagan. My proposal to President Reagan is that we meet without delay in the capital of any European country which would be willing to host such a meeting, or for example in Hiroshima, and work for agreement on banning nuclear tests. Finally, he said, the message from Chernobyl is clear. This is one more tolling of the bell and a new terrible warning that in the nuclear age, what is needed is new political thinking and new policies. It was a speech designed to calm Soviet fears and end Western doubts about the ability of this country to cope with a national disaster. But because it took the Kremlin leadership more than two weeks to face up to the problem, it may be a long time before those twin goals can be accomplished. Dean Reynolds, ABC News, Moscow.